carry this. Three, four, and five. Five for the red. Five for the red, okay. Sound good? Three for the green and four for the yellow. Okay. Peter got his wish. Actually, his fortune cookie came true. The title is, It Ain't Easy Being Cheesy. I'm going to ask Norbert to come up to the front. <laughs> <laughs> Have a seat. <laughs> I'm working on specialty speeches, and uh, yeah, this is an unusual gift, as Peter's fortune cookie told us. In specialty speeches, there's one there called the roast. So <laughs> I had to, Norbert. I knew you'd be for it. So I'm going to give Norbert a little induction. And uh, we all know he's a comedian. Would we all agree? Yeah. Now apparently Norbert, he's got a good memory, but a short, very short. So I'm going to go back 15 years. Him and his brother go to Rushoon for the weekend, and they come back on a Sunday and stop at the Gooby Station. You know where Gooby's is? Mm -hmm. They're two hours from St. John's on the way to Marystown. So Norbert goes in for a coffee and to do his business, comes back out, and his brother Charlie gets in his car, and Norbert cannot get in his car. Uh, do you carry a spare key with you now? Still no. Still no, okay. <laughs> so Norbert looks in his car, and there on the seat are the spare keys. No, sorry, not the spare keys, his keys. So coat hanger doesn't work. He didn't want to beat his window in. But his sister was very, very angry because he phoned her. She lives in St. John's. Had to drive two hours out to drop him a spare set of keys and then drive two hours back. It's not unusual if you're driving on Newfoundland Drive. I know I did last summer to see some guy on a ladder up trying to pry open the kitchen window to get into his house mm -hmm. because the keys are on the table. And that is Sir Norbert. <laughs> <laughs> At one time, Norbert didn't like his name. They call them Norm, Nor, Egbert, Moron. <laughs> Names we don't even could ever imagine. So he wanted to change his name to Jesus <laughs> or Gandhi or some some name that would you know help him take notice of what he was all about. We know him as a comedian, and he I mean he's a funny guy, right? Could crack a joke. Most importantly, when he comes to the meetings, he takes on any role that's unfilled. And we can always count on Mr. Norbert to do that. I'm going to share this one with you, but you'll have to ask Norbert personally how it ended. <laughs> Before I get to that one, I'm going to take you down south because he goes on all these exotic locations and now he's engaged to be married and people think that he actually has a wife somewhere down there because nobody knows where he works. He just goes to work for the government. I don't know if he does anything there, probably not. But <laughs> to save money, to go on all these exotic locations down south. So a couple of years ago, he put an ad in the paper. Wife wanted. <laughs> he got over 900 responses the following Saturday, and they all said the same thing. You can have mine. <laughs> so he chose one and God bless her they're moving into a house together in April I think he even sold his old house she had him in the doghouse for a few nights <laughs> finally he agreed they're going to move into a new house in the winter time and hopefully it'll be a happily ever after you know forget the wife that's down in the Dominican I know she's there but that's okay so I'll leave you with this little story I don't know how it ended but I'm sure Norbert wouldn't mind sharing with you. Years ago when he moved to St. John's, he rented a house. Come winter time, he didn't realize it. It's the first season in here, and the toilet froze. So here's Norbert with his pants down, <laughs> ready to use the toilet. No running water. I'm going to stop it there. You can find out from Norbert how it all ended, but have a stand up. We're going to give you a big round of applause now. Because you're such a great guy. Thanks for the fun. And I'll welcome back our Toastmaster. It's all true. <laughs> <laughs>